Well, it's a rainy day in Georgia, and I'm waiting on uh, the tank to dry in the dune buggy. And I've also decided to put in a new wiring harness. So I'm not going to get much further along on that until I get the wiring harness. And I'll do a video on that as well. I ordered the uh, wiring harness from Rebel Wiring. Uh, they're based out of Tennessee. Had a good, good conversation with the guy on the phone. And uh, I think I'll be happy with it. But we'll see. So today, I think I'm going to start building my toolboxes for Franken truck. And uh, like I said before, and my update video I've got uh, multiple pieces of 14 gauge steel and I've got uh, these little angle pieces that he made for me and what's gonna end up happening is it'll be uh, the toolboxes will be 34 inches wide 14 inches tall and 12 inches deep and I'm gonna use these to make the flange so that when the door shuts it's got an overlap and I'll show you that as I move along Well, I've tacked up one side, as you can see, and this is where those angle magnets come in real handy and square up your corners. And I'm just going to keep tacking things together until I get it the basic shape, and then I'll do some crisscross measuring to make sure it's square. Well, there you have a basic shape or idea of the size of that box, and I will finish welding in the bottom this is the top and I'll make the bottom piece fit as well but I just did a series of tack welds around the perimeter as I squared it up and uh, I'll fully weld those seams I think I'm going to be pretty happy with the with this if everything works out the way I designed it Well, I've made a little progress. I've started welding up the perimeter and I've come up with a way to make my door uh, hopefully seal. Um, I went to Tractor Supply Company where they sell pre-made ones of these and one of the things I noticed was that same angle stuff that I had made, uh, they used it a different way than I had originally intended. My idea was to put it in like that with the flange up and then do the same the opposite thing on the door and have it overlap but what they did on the ones that um, tractor supply is they put it in so that the angle the peak of the angle is up and if you look at it it looks kind of like that and what that does is it creates a smooth transition let's say so you don't have a sharp edge or nothing to cut catch your hand on or anything else like that so I've I've tacked that piece in and this piece up here on top and then I started putting in this piece here just I trimmed it up to fit and you can see that makes a nice clean edge uh, corners and what will happen is I'll do the same the opposite thing on the door let's say and this will interact like that so when it goes in, it'll it'll create a seal. I can put some foam in there and uh, create a seal out of that. And again, it won't leave any rough edges, so that's nice. Um, the other thing I did, I had some leftover angle iron from my my sheet metal, my metal hoard, and I welded this piece on. Now this is the top of the box, but I needed a way to attach it. So what I'm going to do is take this flange, and it's going to hook behind like that onto the truck bed I'll show you that so I've got this nice flange right here and it'll hook behind that flange and I'll put a bolt in the front and the, and the back and then I'll create a better uh, or bracket system to hang it off of the inner structure of the bed so I think that's gonna work um, I'll finish welding that together and then of course I'll create the door for it. I also picked up some piano hinge uh, from, this is from Lowe's. They sell it at Lowe's and Home Depot. And I have to, you know, get my angles right so that uh, this may even go into that angle as well. 
but I'll figure that out when I get to that point. Pretty happy with it so far, and uh, I think these are going to work great. Well, this is what it looks like. I've got the perimeter pieces welded in like I showed you. And then I made a framework of the other pieces. Basically a mirror uh, of what I already have in there. So this will sit inside of that. Hopefully that makes sense. And then once that's in place, I'm going to set this door, let's say, on top. And I'll have some overhang. You can see that down here. But that's okay. I can trim that off later. Um, these were made a little bit big, or actually made to the right size, but because of this piece of angle iron that I added up here, that took away some of the length. So, or the height, however you want to look at it. Um, so now what I'll end up doing is taking this piece, this framework, and weld it to the back side of what will be the door. And then once all this is together, that should all hinge and, and work well together. Well, there's the door. Pretty happy with it, as you can see. Ta-da! Now I still have to put some, some tethers in here to keep it from swinging all the way down. And there you can see a little better how I put that framework in. And I may put some more tack welds out here. It doesn't need to be you know, welded fully all the way around. I did sandwich the piano hinge between this little framework thing and the door itself and then it's on the bottom of the main box and like I said that those pieces interact together and I think it's gonna work well now of course uh, I still have to come up with some latches and I'm working on that I, I think I found some from Northern Tool and it would be the standard big style ones that you would get on a, a truck box and uh, still have some blending to do. I'm going to knock these edges down and weld the perimeter and all that. And then, of course, paint it and get it on the truck. Um, still have the other one to build, but I'm really happy with the results of this one. And hopefully I get this on the truck soon.